Guys, there's a, there's a line in the song that a lot of you listen to that I kind of like the song myself. But it says, I've been working my whole life, but I've never punched a clock. Okay? To be successful, there's no time clock. When it's done, it's done. Okay? The guy said right here, there's, there's four things. Sleep, sweat, grind, repeat. <laughs> Sleep, sweat, grind, repeat. Repeat. Yes, it doesn't say get here at 9 and leave at 5. Okay? <coughs> Nothing about getting here at 9 and leaving at 5. Okay? Lazy people, lazy people will not be successful people. Okay? Lazy people cannot be around successful people. Coach Prime, if you're lazy, you will hate being around him. Trust me. I've seen it. Let me tell you the, the number one thing a lot of you guys can do. Because a problem with laziness is a lot of people think that laziness is a characteristic trait. It's not a trait, it's a habit. When you go to bed at night, if you'll take that phone and put it across the room and lay it down, there's two things you'll do. Number one, you'll go to sleep on time. And number two, you'll get your ass up when the alarm goes off. Mm -hmm. You know something, I quit hitting the snooze button a long time ago. I was, in, I was young and I, you know, I'd hit that snooze button under each other and hit it. And, and, and one day I said, enough's enough. I'm not hitting the snow button anymore. I put my clock across the room. That way I get my butt up. I make my bed up every morning. Little things like that, man. Okay? You can't, you, you got to decide. You know, I, you know, everybody can talk about, you know, great players and, and, and great men and guys that are different. A lot of people talk about, ask about, you know, Kobe Bryant, for example. I've heard him talk about how after a game, you know, guys were talking about, hey, let's go out, let's party. And he would go to the gym and shoot a thousand shots. Mm. I've heard this man talk about, and, and it, it, it ain't from him, I've heard it. When I was young, he played for Florida State. Everybody knew he didn't go out. Everybody knew that. That was common knowledge around Tallahassee and that area. They knew you wasn't gonna go out at, 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 at the party and see him. But he was gonna be home getting himself ready for the next day. Man, right here. Old saying, man, you can't hoop with owls and sword eagles. That's an old saying, right? You've heard that one. No, you can't have a million dollar dream with a minimum wage work ethic. Come on now. You can't have a million dollar dream with a minimum wage work ethic. Man, I'm gonna tell you something right here. People that tell you, you gotta do it a thousand times to get it right, that's wrong. That ain't how you live. That ain't how you're successful. That ain't how you're going to be a champion. You've got to do it a thousand times right until you can't get it wrong. Talk to him. A talk. thousand times right until you can't get it wrong. Not, a, not the other way around. Because if you do it a thousand times until you don't get it wrong, you did it right one time. Talk right? to him, coach. If you do it a thousand times right until you can't get it wrong, you did it a thousand times right. And I'm going to tell you something. Successful people invest in themselves. Unsuccessful people spend money. They spend. They don't invest. Okay? It takes an investment to be good at this. I've had coaches ask me, young coaches get in here and ask me many times, Coach, how do, you, how do you see the field? How do you know the game like you know it? I mean, it, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of saying no this guy takes a lot of saying no. You know something? Saturday, we got a scrimmage. How many of you are going to say no Friday night when that girl calls you up at 10 o'clock and says, hey, can you, hey we, we, we going to the club. Why don't you go with us? What's more important to you? What's more important to you? First of all, if anybody's in your life that's trying to get you to go to the club, they know you got a scrimmage the next day, they probably somebody you should surround yourself with. Remember I told you, successful people, people that aren't lazy, surround themselves with people that aren't lazy. I, I'm gonna tell you what, I've been around all these coaches, is support staff. There's not a lazy man in this room that's working for this football program. Not a lazy man in this room. Everybody here comes here to work every day, comes to grind every day, okay? I'm going to leave you with this, guys. There's eight uh, things that successful people do that lazy people um, don't do. First of all, 
Success is people plan ahead. Let me tell you something. Coach Kelly, Coach Lewis, they don't just wake up and start calling defenses and ball plays. That's just been planned out long before they got here. It ain't just them two. Okay? Second thing, successful people do hard stuff first. Successful people do the hard stuff first. You know, they don't get up in the morning and do the easy stuff. They get the hard stuff out of the way. Number three, successful people say no. Remember what I told you? Friday night, every person in this room is going to have an opportunity to say yes or no. And your decision is going to tell everybody in this room what's important to you. And we got a screw to say. Okay? And we got to be at our best. Because it's game day. It's game day, right? Yes, okay? So Friday night, what are you going to do? Are you going to say yes? Or are you going to say no? Right here. Successful people invest in themselves. Remember I told you. Guys, listen. Millionaires, people got a lot of money. They invest first, they spend last. People that always say they don't have money, spend is first and investments last for them. There's a huge difference. <coughs> right here. Uh, successful people study their craft. How many guys in this room, how many guys in this room go home and sit down just 15 minutes, just 15 minutes a night and say, you know what? I'm just going to go through this 15 minutes and study my playbook. Just 15 minutes. You know what 15 minutes turns into? The next night will be 20 minutes. Then it'll be 30 minutes. Before you know it, you'll be sitting there for an hour. And instead of sitting here, listen here, man. Instead of sitting here on TikTok making some chick rich because you daggum watching her goddamn videos and bullshit of her in a bathing suit, your ass is making yourself rich. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting here watching some chick on, on, on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, up there in a bathing suit, doing nothing but just looking good, and you make her ass rich off views. And you ain't investing in yourself. And all you got to do is open your phone. I mean, here, you got your phone. You can put your dad gun playbook right there on your phone. And invest in, my, in myself. Because, man, I'm going to tell you something. Even if you don't go to the NFL, even if you don't go to the NFL, you teach yourself habits that when you become a professional man, a father, and a husband, it's going to make you a better person. It's going to make you more successful. Right here. To be successful, it becomes a matter of routine you put in place for yourself. And what I told you, you got to sleep, grind, repeat, right? Okay? It ain't hard, man. It ain't hard. But it takes a matter of you being disciplined enough every day in your life to do little things. And it starts off with getting your butt into bed and out of the bed. So when you get up, you at your very best. Man, you need to make, let me tell you some guys. Leave you this. You guys in here, and there are some guys in here that are really invested in being champions. You need to make it so uncomfortable for lazy people to be around you that they get away from you. And you'll get, you'll get surrounded by people that aren't lazy and people that will help you be successful. 